a second year PhD student in electrical engineering and I currently work with Professor Stephen Forrest and I work on um, organic photovoltaic cells, so organic solar cells and in particular I study the lifetime of those devices. Currently if you look on people's roofs you'll see these big heavy panels and they're made of silicon. The efficiency of that cell is pretty high. The lifetime is pretty good but it's very heavy and awkward and it's not flexible so what we want to do is make thin lightweight panels out of conventional safe materials, carbon-based materials just like plants and animals are made out of that can match the performance of the silicon cells you see while also having these advantages that we can maybe uh, put them on rolls so they're easily deployable and we don't have to have all this infrastructure to hold these things up. To do this kind of research you need a very large amount of infrastructure. We need uh, world-class characterization technology so we need the best microscopes, all the, all the best um, optics, all this kind of stuff to really measure and characterize and improve the cells. And there are very few places in the world that have uh, the desire to make that sort of investment. And there's very few places that have then gone the next step to actually do it. And Michigan is really one of those places in the world where this sort of uh, research is possible. It's a very expensive infrastructure. And the most expensive part is the intellectual capital that it takes to really do this. You need a lot of people dedicated to these problems. Uh, and you need the best people. And Michigan has made the investment in bringing in those people to do this research. My department is extremely international. We have a very diverse group of, of people. There's a really strong uh, collaborations between different groups and between different departments. And having a university like Michigan, where you have all these top ranked programs and all these uh, great faculty, you can bring it together a group of people that know physics and know chemistry and know electronics really well. And it's that fusion of different ideas and concepts that really makes this research shine. Now I'm at a point where I, uh, I have a lot of flexibility and freedom about what I, what I think is interesting, what I want to study, where this is going. And I am now shaping my own research future by doing the experiments I want to do and um, sharing that information through the literature, through publishing, and through discussions with my collaborators. For a person who wants to work on organic electronics, or any electronics for that matter, I think this is really uh, one of only very few places that you can uh, have the sort of experience I've had here.